happy Monday morning. I think it's Monday. Everybody's gone off to work and stuff, so must be Monday. We didn't do that yesterday. So today I've got a bunch of stuff to do. Uh, one is uh, go to the yacht club, work on the trailer. Uh, I got to repack the one bearing on the passenger side, get that done. And I also want to get the, uh, the dinghy gel coated. So it's wet right now. I've got to dry it off and uh, let it dry out for a couple hours. We'll get that done. So I moved this out here. I emptied it out to dry. I found I'm holding water in this little cup thing I, I built. So I drilled a little hole there to uh, help it drain in the future. I'm going to leave it for a couple hours in the sun and uh, that'll evaporate while I'm at the yacht club working on the trailer. The Yeah, it's a good thing I noticed that because that would uh, fill up with water and then freeze and then crack and uh, ruin my wheel repair or modification job. Okay, uh, getting tools together and I'm going to get out of here. I'm trying to get to the yacht club, but uh, I'm going to give that away. Uh, kid across the street can use it. So let's go in there. Okay, I'm finally getting away. It's 11 o'clock. I got a text from the neighbor. She needed help with uh, a bunch of stuff. She doesn't have any tools. So I fixed a bunch of stuff and I told her to go buy tools. Okay, uh, we're going out to the yacht club. Fix the uh, the trailer. And by fix, I mean uh, tighten that wheel bearing and re grease it. I just stopped at the guardhouse, uh, guardhouse. I guess it's uh, where you register camping. I noticed the water's down even further, so I thought I'd ask uh, what's up. I also noticed that uh, my buddy's construction companies dropped their trailer off and they're dropping off equipment today. So they're, they're starting work. Hopefully the water is where they want it to be now. The uh, paper here that she gave me from the guardhouse said that uh, the water is going to be 12 inches less than normal to start and then I think uh, July 10th or June 10th it's going to go down another 10 inches and then uh, in uh, September it's going to go down another 40 inches so it's going way down anyway so I got this paper to uh, take a look at it all pops out here oh he's going to try and cut the lawn look at this a lawnmower hidden in the grass <laughs> this off at the bulletin board here. I'm out of the club. There's a lot of activity. Kids wandering around over there. It must be a school group or something coming through. Anyways, here to tighten my wheel bearings. Let's get at it. It's a messy job. Okay, so I did the hardest part. I got the cotter pin out. Now it's just a matter of tightening this bolt. Turns that way and uh, or tightening the bolt, tightening the nut. Let's see. One mark. Two marks. Three marks. Three is as far as we can go, so we're gonna go back to two. It's gotta be a little loose. So, let's go to three. Okay, that's a little bit loose. That's what we want. We don't want it thumping back and forth. We want it a little loose. Okay, so we will, uh, we. I'm going to uh, put the cotter pin back in and 
close this up. Say one for me while you're down there. <laughs> I will, Bob, I will. <laughs> characters here at the Yacht Club. It's Bob. He's the, the maintenance guy. He's a member, but uh, he also looks after the place. Some mosquitoes are in here. So I'm going to put a couple of pumps of grease right in here, just uh, because I can. And we'll give this a pump or two of grease. That's all there is to that. It's pretty, uh, pretty simple. I'm gonna go get the other side a couple of pumps of grease. I did tighten it already a couple weekends ago when we were away. But a couple of pumps of grease can't hurt. Three pumps is plenty. You don't want too much or you get grease coming out. See the inside of the tire? That's uh, grease and water. That's mostly, I guess, water on this side, but there's grease on the other side. It shows that the wheel bearings are greased well, but they can get on the boat too. You don't want that. Okay, all that's left is to uh, clean up. I'm gonna plug my lights in, check those, take the trailer for a little spin, and make sure that uh, my bearings don't get hot while I'm doing that. So they get hot, I have to loosen the, the uh, nut again. Oh, the wind's picked up. That's nice. It'd be perfect out there for sailing. But I don't have time. Oh well. It's coming down to take a look at the boat. I notice the water's down further than normal. So that's dropped a couple of inches. Well, we'll uh, there's not much we can do. I'll let it move the dock when we have time. Hiya, Spotty. Boat still here. Charging the batteries. This is nice out here. Okay, well, we'll, uh, I guess, get to the dock another time. Probably next week sometime. There's no hurry. No birds in there yet. <laughs> Never will be either. Oh, you can't see it. The uh, London police are out here. They, in conjunction with the Upper Thames, keep uh, an enforcement boat out here beside one of our docks. Let's go out and make sure people aren't doing what they're not supposed to. So right now, I'm going to pop over to a parts store, take the trailer with me. I'll uh, get some air in the trailer tire while I'm at it and buy an 1157 light bulb. One of my trailer lights is out. It's just a running light, but it's better to have it working. That still bounces like it's supposed to. <laughs> These empty trailers are crazy. Okay, I've been for a little test drive. I stuck the trailer back in the woods. Now I'm off home to check uh, that gel coat, see if the fiberglass is dry enough. Uh, I should probably leave it overnight and do it tomorrow. We'll take a look. I'll use my moisture meter. If there's any moisture, I just I won't do it. I'll maybe drill the hole, get ready for the, uh, the wheel. I haven't done that yet. Just had a thought. I'm going to, when I get home, I'll check that, that fiberglass. I don't think it's going to be dry because it was holding water. So what one of the things on my list to do is to re-rotate these tires. Put the back on the front, the front on the back. Then I won't have this crazy grinding noise from
on the uh, the tread on these front tires. They're uh, well, it's pretty aggressive that tread. That's why it makes that noise. So yeah, I gotta let that dry out a little more. So I'll leave it overnight and uh, do it tomorrow. This tread is why those tires make that much noise. <laughs> it's crazy tread. Uh, probably great for racing. Who knows? Put them on the back. I got my tires switched out. And I almost lost a trailer plate again today. I took that for a little test drive. So I'm going to put some more bolts in there. I can't believe that. This trailer falling off. Our plate falling off. Okay, it's uh, it's hot out here. It's supposed to be like 32 or something today. Well, I'm gonna go inside. <laughs> Do I look hot? I am. I'm gonna wrap it up here. I got a bunch of online stuff to do, so. Thanks for watching. Please click the clicky things and uh, tell your mom to check those uh, bolts on the trailer plate. Don't want that thing falling off. Mine almost did today. It's the second time in two years. I'm gonna have to maybe put some Loctite on.